Good morning guys, Unfrequented World, and today we're doing the follow-up on the same test we did last week. We've got uh, a long route, the same route that we drove last week picked out. We're going to run the car in braking mode 2, or drive, which uses B2, and we're going to see which one we can go further in. Last week's test, which was a whopping 63.2 uh, kilometers, I don't think we're going to come anywhere close to that. I could be wrong, and I would be really surprised if I'm wrong, but... I drove this car for three months when I first got it, and I never put it in B0. I thought I was being very efficient, you know, B2, B3. And somebody online said, no, try it. You'll be surprised how far you coast. Absolutely started breaking my records the first day I started using B0. So I'm going to be really surprised if we come anywhere close to 63 kilometers today, but we're going to give it a go. Okay, so we've got the dog hooked up, and it looks like the exact same stats as... Uh, Last week, 95.5%, 36.3 amp hours. Okay, so I've reset the tripometer. We are at 10,285 on the odometer. And over here on the guessometer, even though we have the same amperage and, and battery numbers as the other day, it's guessing 44 kilometers. And that's because yesterday I did my highway driving. Okay, so I had requests to do this test in uh, B3, B5, um, why are we doing it in B2? We're doing it in B2 because that is the default setting for the car. And I'm hoping that the Japanese, who spent decades working on these projects, um, have made the default the most efficient, or what they deem to be the most efficient. So last week's average speed was 40 kilometers an hour, and the maximum was Mm, the low 50s so we're gonna try to again run as efficiently as I can today and we're gonna try to break that 63 kilometer record I am gonna try my darndest if I can we're gonna do it I just don't think the car is up to it on braking level 2 so we're coming to a stop here and I'm using B5 and then as soon as we get going again put it back on B2 very gently accelerate. I'll get us up to just over 50, which is the speed limit here. And then I slow down. And I gently bring it back up over 50. And then I slow down. That is probably your best practice. That is your best hypermiling that you can do right here. This is what we're doing the whole test. I'm gonna show you guys something just for the sake of, uh, so you have something to compare it to. We're doing 50 kilometers an hour and on B2, I'm gonna take my foot off the gas now. There, we're at 40 kilometers. I'm gonna speed us back up to 50. We're gonna put it on B0 and then I'm gonna remove my foot. And now. This is the difference between B2 and B0. Look how long we're still coasting here. And we'll put the seconds, I'm gonna time this, I'll throw it up on the screen so you see the difference. Now we're at 40. So I'm going to actually mark those times and I'll show you guys. So that's a significant amount of time that the car coasts. This is the point I'm trying to get across to everybody, um, is how well this car coasts. It just goes and goes and goes. There's no gears in this car, guys. So when you put it on B0, there is no regenerative, no compression uh, taking effect. You're not regening any power. We're just coasting, freewheeling, and this car goes and when you're doing that multiple times that's how you're getting further distances than the guessometer because every time you do that you gain 100 yards or 300 yards if you're going down a, a downward grade or something you know so and that adds up over the course of 40 some kilometers you extend that another 20 kilometers where on b2 nope we immediately you reach a speed that is the traffic around you get would get annoyed very quickly and um, so you do regen a little tiny bit of energy, but it's, it's not as much energy as you would have saved by coasting that distance. 
So the only time that we would actually gain a positive increase on the gasometer is when we take our foot off the gas. Otherwise, we're using energy and draining the battery. So the number is gonna keep going down. So the only time it's gonna go up is if we have our foot off of the pedal. Well, that's very hard to do even in B2 because immediately the car starts slowing down. So you're constantly, you feel like you're up and down, up and down, up and down, and the traffic behind you, um, it's just very hard to moderate, guys, very hard. Okay, I feel, I see the gasometer dropping and um, we're, we're not gaining anything on it here, so I feel like I'm trying to be even more extreme. And uh, I'm really, really trying to regen as much as I can. I'm not, I'm trying not to go change the average speed from the last test, but I can see this isn't working, guys. So I am trying to cheat a little bit more. And maybe if our average speed ends up being a little bit lower, if I can regen a little bit more power, maybe we stand a chance here, but it's not looking good so far. So on a side note guys, I did figure out in an earlier video I showed you guys that uh, to override a timer when you set your car for charging, you have to push the little round button at the top of the remote. And I said that the first time I tried this it didn't work and I couldn't figure out why. I figured out why. The same thing happened to me the other day. You can't have any car doors open if you try to override a charging timer. If you do that, it will not start the uh, charger. I'm trying to envision a scenario in which any of the heavy braking levels would be more efficient than B0. I had one guy tells me he lives in a mountainous region. Well, yes, that's great that you can go down a hill and regen all this energy, but you've got to climb up the next hill, you know? Even if you lived on a hill and one side was very steep and you could regen a lot of energy going down, to come home, you got to climb that hill. And even if you could go around the mountain to the backside, which was a gentle curve up, you still got a long gradual uphill, which is using more energy. So either way you break it down, guys, uh, there's, I just don't see, I don't see any of these higher braking levels beating B0. See what happened there, guys? I actually, old habits, I put the car back in B0 and I just gave you guys 300 meters for free on this test. It's not really gonna change the outcome here at all, but uh, I'm like, wow, I'm really moving along here because I put it back on B0. Screw it, we're getting a coffee. <laughs> it's not off the beaten path. It's not off our same route. There is a Tim Hortons coming up and uh, I've been good. I haven't had a coffee in four days, so we're going for coffee. Much better, much better. Okay, look behind me, guys. Look at that row of cars. I am doing the exact same test I did the other day. We are holding everybody up. We're doing our test. We're doing the speed limit. We're in a 40, so no harm. But I am trying my darndest, guys. I am, I am trying to get that 63 kilometers. It's not happening. Usually you can feel the exact moment the generator kicks on here, so. We're getting really close right now. You gotta be happy that I got a couple extra kilometers out of uh, what the guessometer said I was gonna get, but this is nowhere near our total from running B0 the other day. There, it clicked on 47.2 kilometers, guys. I think that's uh, that's pretty convenient because our number from the other day was 63.2. Fantastic, that makes for easy math. Okay, and I forgot to show you guys the other day. There is, as soon as the generator clicked on, I pulled over to show you guys that we were 100% in electric mode. I forgot to show you that screen the other day, but hey, I'm honest. And we got the dog running too, so that will also verify. I don't know what to call this test, guys. We need to come up with a name for this video so that everybody sees this and there can be no argument after this test. There couldn't be any argument before because like I say, I drove the car for three months and immediately the first day I started putting the car in B0 without even trying, I was uh, beating my records. So I knew it was gonna be way more efficient but this test over the same route as we did last week using B0, 
I'm going to put up the numbers, guys. We're going to do some maths. The watchdog is uh, running away happily there. It has not stopped. Um, we're going to put up the numbers, and I think you're going to be surprised when we break it down into a percentage by how much B0 beat B2. It, it beat it to death. It just, yeah. It took off its shoe, and there's, there's a messy puddle over there. That's B2, and B0 has the belt. It's prancing around with the 15 kilograms of gold on its shoulder. It is the champion. Okay guys, we are back at the house and uh, I'm just going to show you guys, here's the two trips. And so both of these were done 100% in electric. It's just when I shut the car off, turned the watchdog off, sorry, the generator had already started and it calculated a little bit. But what I wanted to show you guys is one hour and 19 minutes today's trip. But look at the gliding number. 2.4% was all we were gliding in, in braking level two. When we were in braking level zero, we glided 47.2% of our trip. And that is how we gained all those extra kilometers. We click on this. We can see here that our, our average speed was just a little bit lower. It was on the last trip was 40 kilometers. Here it's 36.4. And that's because when you are in braking level two, you slow down much quicker when you take your foot off the accelerator. So my maximum speed was 58 kilometers an hour. And we probably rode somewhere in that 53, 54. I would speed up to 53, 54, take my foot off and we would slow down. And I was trying to regen as much as I could. So at this point, guys, this is where up in the corner or somewhere, I'm gonna put up some math, okay? And we're gonna look at the percentage numbers, the percent for braking level zero uh, versus braking level two, how much further did we go? What percentage in kilometers did we gain? And that number is right here. That is absolutely amazing. If you times that number by 365 days a year, you get this number of kilometers. That's how many more kilometers you can drive using B0 than B2 in one year. You guys can do the math to figure out what you're paying for fuel, to figure out what your savings are there. But this was no contest. This was a knockout by B0. If you guys want me to do B5, put comments below. I don't think there's any really any reason to do it. Uh, it would be very hard. It's going to disrupt traffic when we're, you know, taking our foot off the accelerator and really slowing down like that. But if you guys want to see it, I will do it. I need at least five people to tell me they want to see it and a thousand views on this video before I get in that car and drive around for another hour and a half. So... Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll catch you in the next video.